Corpus, California, the city of angels, is the site for another great college football showdown. It's a mild, clear day, so the weather won't be a factor in this battle between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the USC Trojans. And here come the Trojans. Brad Nassler with Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. Yes, this rivalry is special, folks, and it's for the jeweled shillelagh, an emerald-adorned war club first introduced in 1952. The Trojans are much too powerful to be stopped in this game. Kirk, what are your thoughts? Uh, there's no question about it. This one's going to be pretty ugly. USC is lucky to have such a force at defensive end. Offense is game-planned around him, and I wouldn't expect to see many runs to his side. The rest of the defense is just as good, and they'll dominate in this game. Yep, no question, Kirk. USC has a defensive front that's going to push this offensive line around all game. And I'll tell you what, Kirk, I sure wouldn't want to be in that backfield when the big, ugly monster's coming right at me. No way. Thanks, Kirk and Lee. Well, the team captains look like they're ready for the coin toss, so we'll send it down to the field. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Here's the kick. Number 82. Fields it at the two. Spin move. Kickoff return, 20 yards. Number 82 on the return. They'll go to work at the 22. Number 10 with three wide receivers. Setting up the play action. Across the middle. Batted ball. And this one could be on the defense. Pass interference on the defense. 15 yard penalty. Well, he got busted for getting to the receiver too soon. He will get a flag thrown on him every time for a play like that. First and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. One man backfield. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And down he goes. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 38. The fighting Irish. Go with the I formation. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete pass. And that was out of reach for his tight end. The intended receiver on the play. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on the 38. The Irish line up in an I formation. Drops back to pass. He's going left. Got it to his receiver. Oh, my. What do you think of that one, Kirk? Boy, I'll tell you what. The quarterback delivered a perfect pass on that play and gave them more than enough for the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 37. 37 yard Notre Dame goes with the ace set here. He drops back, steps up in the pocket, looks, going deep. Got it. He's all the way down to the seven. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little.
This offense has a great scoring opportunity right now. Let's see if they can make the most of it. What a huge drop that was. That's an interception you've got to make, young man. No excuses. Number 10 comes to the line with three wide. On the ground, the tailback. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Kirk, they really had nothing going on that run. I'll tell you what, Brad. It's almost like he ran into a brick wall on that play. 11 yards out. USC comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Someone got a hand on it. And he threw the ball into coverage. Man, I tell you, he's lucky that defense didn't come away with that one. Here we go. They'll try to make this a field goal game. It's up. No good. He missed it to the left. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Trojans come out in the ace formation. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. That's a good nine-yard gain. Nine-yard gain on the play. Second and one. Ball on their own 29. Number five, alone in the backfield. He spins around, and they make the stop, and what a run. And here's a stat for you. This kid ran a 4-3, non-win-aided 40. Now, that's bad. Non-win-aided? What are you talking about? I don't care if he had to win or not. This kid can fly. It's first and 10, ball on the 39. The Trojans line up with three wide. They'll throw on first down. Steps up. Throws it to the outside. And that and one's falling one. incomplete. Number 89, the intended receiver on the play. Second, Second and 10. Ball, ball on their own 39. The Fighting Irish bring in their dime package. Back to pass. Across the middle. And he drops it. A bullet to the receiver, but he couldn't hang on. The quarterback put that ball right where it needed to be. That guy's got to make the catch. Third down and 10 coming up. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Trojans line up with two tight ends. Drops back to pass. Down the middle. Someone got a hand on it. Great range as he's able to break up the pass. I know that the safety makes a good play here, but as a receiver, you got to get in there and play some defense. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. The drive stalls, and they'll have to punt it away. Number five. Number 14 gets it off. Number five makes it the 21. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Yeah, and that poor kick has to wait on the sideline and hopes he gets a chance to redeem himself after that last miss. Number 10 has four receivers lined up here. They'll throw on first down. Looking. Going deep and he's got a man. Got it. And he's all the way down to the 48-yard line. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Boy, that's a big-time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. First and 10. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Fighting Irish line up in an eye formation. They go with a toss. Halfback pass. And this one's broken up. You got to be careful when you're calling a trick play like this because it's usually a huge gain or a turnover. They were lucky it was only incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 48. What 
And this offense is having a difficult time doing anything at the line of scrimmage. They go with a pitch to the right. And they hit him in the backfield. He let that little corner bring him down. To be a productive runner at the college level, you have to make that guy miss and get upfield. Third and 11. Ball right around midfield. The Irie line up with four wide out. He drops back. He's looking. He's under pressure. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. He couldn't avoid the sack there, Coach. Hey, that protection has got to get better because you don't want your quarterback to get smacked like that. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Number 19 boots it way up there. They'll down the punt at the 26. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 26-yard line. The Trojans come out in the ace formation they go with the option and now he pitches it he's got an opening he's off the would-be tackler they'll bring him down how about that run by this halfback you know what when this offense can run the ball like this watch out they can score quickly watch out is right because now you got to worry about the run and the pass on defense three wide outs here he steps up down the middle someone got a hand up Got it, and he's taken down. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. First and ten, ball on the 27. And they have three bunch. He'll get it again. <laughs> Tackle. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. You are absolutely right. It's first and ten. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. This will be the first snap inside the 20 today. Looks. Throws this one out to the right. And it's caught. Touchdown, USC. The quarterback mixed things up a bit and found the big guy for the score. This kid has worked very, very hard at his receiving skills, and I've seen a lot of improvement in him. And he hits the PAT. The down is just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score. USC, 7. Notre Dame, nothing. USC to kick this one off. Number 82 and number 5 back to return. Short kickoff. Number 82 takes from the 10. So the offense takes over. And they'll try to figure out this defense as they forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. 
They'll get the ball here at the 30. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish will start the drive at the 30 yard line. The Irish come out in the ace formation. the ground the tailback and he's going to lose yards on this one slow developing play and it got them nowhere in fact they'll lose yardage nah just stick the ball in the middle if you're going to run it stick it in the middle after a quarter of play our score is usc seven notre dame nothing Second and 11. Ball on their own 29. Notre Dame sets up with four receivers. And they got him for a loss. Loss of two. It's third down and 13 to go. Ball on the 27. The Irish with four receivers. Looking, throws this one out to the right for the interception. He's got some blockers. The 10. Touchdown, USC. What a catch. I'm surprised he was able to hang on to that one. You know, sometimes you hear people say that defensive backs can't catch the ball very good. That's why they play defensive back, back instead of receiver. Well, this guy just proved that theory wrong. He can definitely catch the football. Yeah, there are some exceptions. I will definitely admit that. And he tacks on the extra point. So with just under five minutes remaining in the second quarter, the score, USC 14, Notre Dame nothing. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. We should have a return on this one. Number 82 takes from the 10. I know the first thing I wanted to do after throwing a pick was to come out that next drive and throw. Let the defense know that I wasn't intimidated. And how many times did you go right back in there and throw another pick? Well, I mean, as you know, a quarterback needs a short memory, so I really don't remember, Scooter. You know what I mean. Pitch is right. And he's tackled. The halfback picks up a yard. One yard gain on the play. Second and nine. Ball on the 25. Number four is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Back to pass. Pressure coming. Across the middle. Incomplete pass. That one way too far out in front. You know what, guys? That's what I refer to as a radio ball. You can hear it. You just can't see it. And if the receiver can't see it, then he's not going to catch it. It's third down and nine to go. Ball on their own 25. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's in trouble, and they got him. They came after him hard there. Yeah, they sure did. And Lee, I think the quarterback felt that pressure coming from every direction. Kirk, as I've always said, the best way to keep the pressure down and to help the quarterback is to run screens and draws. see the punt team number 19 punted and he didn't get much distance on it number five fields at the 50 what to look for in this drive is to see how often the defense changes up its coverages they didn't defend the pass very well that last drive so it's going to be interesting to see if they play them differently here the trojans come out in a two tight end set Hand off up the middle. Takes off a tackle. And he's taken down. Nine yard pickup. Nine yard gain on the play. Second, 
Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 40. Number five is the single setback. Black and five. He drops back. He's looking. Rolls to the right. Waits till the last moment. And he dropped it. I thought he had that one, guys. Yeah, that guy will make that catch nine out of ten times, I guarantee. It's third down and a yard for the first down. Ball on the 40-yard line. USC will line up in a jumbo set here. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. He's going right. Complete. And they make the stop. They convert on third and long, guys. Well, the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, Coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. First and ten. They're threatening inside the 20. Their last trip down here was a success. Let's see if this one will result in another touchdown. On the ground with a tailback. He can scoop. He's hit and got away. They'll bring him down. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, the defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. USC goes to the ace set here. Sheds a tackler. He laterals the ball. And down he goes. Three yards there on the play. Three yard gain on the play. Let's see if they can punch this one in. Up the middle. Touchdown, Southern Cal. So it's the big hoss on the score. And I think the fullbacks deserve to get some of the spotlight. They're always out there working hard for everybody else. They're like a glorified offensive lineman. They never get any recognition. And he hits the PAT. The fine folks at Pontiac bring us this summary of how that drive took place. USC ready to kick this one off. He kicks it. Number 82 takes it at the four. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll go to work at the 21. Number four is the deep back as they line up in the eye. They'll throw on first down. Looks under pressure, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Notre Dame calls a timeout. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on their own 14. Four wide. Back to pass. Steps up. Here they come with the throw. And it's caught. And he's taken down. Well, they pick up a few with a pass play, Coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 18-yard line. Notre Dame will line up in a jumbo set here. They'll drop him for a loss. USC takes a timeout. No game on the play. Right. 
The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. Number 19, punts it, and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Number five, heels it at the 40. Can't wrap him up. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. First and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. Nickel defense. They'll throw on first down. Looking. Wants the middle. Complete. Brought down. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. We're at the one-minute mark, first half. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. He drops back. He's looking. Pumps once. He's rolling right under heavy pressure. And down he goes. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Notre Dame brings in the nickel here on the ground with the tailback. There he goes. Touchdown, Southern Cal. Oh, my, when it rains, it pours. Ha, that's why I brought one of these. Whoa, 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 watch it, Coach. You're going to take an eye out. Put that thing away. Like Brad said, when it rains, it pours. So I came prepared, my friend. Very funny, Coach. Now, seriously, can you close that thing off so we can see the game? Looks like someone went a little too far with the celebration. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the offense. 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the trial. And he tacks on the extra point. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. USC to kick. Number 82 and number 5. Back deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 82 takes from the 10. <laughs> success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll take over at the 25-yard line. At the 25-yard line. First and 10. Inside give. Spins up field. Uh, there's not much he could do to get away from that big defense alignment. After one half of play, this one is not even close. Our score, USC 28, Notre Dame nothing. We're ready to start the second half as the teams are lined up for the kickoff. And this one's a short kick. Number 24 fields it at the 18. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll set up shot at the 30. One man backfield. Toss. They'll bring him down. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Gain of two on the play. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on their own 32. Notre Dame lines up with five defensive backs. Look over the middle. And it's caught. And down he goes. How about that reception, Lee? A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's a Exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Trojans line up with four wideouts. Cut. 
has some daylight. Down the sideline. And he's all the way down to the 20. First and ten, ball on the twenty. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. Cut. On the ground, left side, broke away from one. And he's tackled a yard, maybe two on the carry. It's second down and eight to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. Number five, alone in the backfield. Side handoff. He's hit and got away. Brought down. What do you think of this guy, Lee? Brad, this kid can play on my team any day, and I'll tell you why. He's almost guaranteed 100 yards rushing every time out. the middle and down he goes a good six yards there by the fullback let's see if they can take this one in for six Again with a carry. Touchdown, Trojans. What a run. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. Great. And he hits the PAT. And here's the Pontiac drive summary. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Decent kick. Looks to be returnable. Number five. Takes it from the six. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll start this drive at the 21-yard line. They'll take over at the 21-yard line. On the ground with the tailback. And they make the stop. A two-yard run by the halfback. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 23. Notre Dame comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. He steps up. Across the middle. He couldn't hang on to that one, guys. Well, I can't blame him for dropping that one. Did you see how hard that ball was thrown? Well. Third and eight. Ball on the 23-yard line. Number four. Lines up as a single back. Back to pass. He pumps once. He's under pressure. Throws this one out to the right. And he dropped it. Dropped it. By the wideout. Number 21, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth and eight. Ball on the 23 yard. 
And the punt team will come out. It's fourth down. Didn't get all of that one. And they'll down it at the 45. And we see this offense again after what you, Kirk, called a very physical touchdown drive. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game, and it, it helped them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Number five, the lone back. On the ground, up the middle. Big opening. Missed tackle. And he's tackled. What a huge run. Remember, this kid can fly. You saw in that run. How he just took off and left everybody else looking like they got lead in their shoes. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23. Number five lines up in the deep back. I formation. the middle tackle a two-yard run by the halfback gain of two on the play it's second down and eight ball on the 21 Notre Dame brings in their nickel package Heading to the fourth quarter. This one is well in hand. With the score, USC 35, Notre Dame nothing. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 21 yard line. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's got an opening. Brought down. What a run. Man, this kid can flat out fly. A lot of kids are fast, but there's not many guys out there that can run as fast as this kid in pads holding on to the football. I agree with you, Lee, and he has such a natural running style. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. Get it again. Just past the tackler. Touchdown, USC. What do you have for us, Lee? That was his third rushing score for the game. If I was a coach, I'd give this kid the ball every time. Tax on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. USC to kick this one off. Number 82 and number five deep to return. Here's the kick. Number 82 fields it at the nine. <laughs> You guys remember what this offense did the last time they had the ball? Did they have the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow bowl replay to recap it. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. USC brings in the nickel here. They'll throw on first down. Looking. He's under the heat. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. There's sack number four. Boy, I really like the way this defense is pushing the quarterback. Not much you can do out there. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnover. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 16. The Irish 
Set up in the gun. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Pressure coming. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The corner came out of nowhere. Yo, did he ever. And you could tell he doesn't blitz very often because there was no way he was going to be denied that sack. Third down and long coming up here. Ball on the 12. Number 10 with three wide receivers. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Under pressure. Steps up. There he goes. He decides to run with it. They'll bring him down. Notre Dame lining up the punt. Number 19 punts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Number five, he'll lose the 50. The run game was a big factor in this offense's last drive when they got down the field for a touchdown. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackle. An eight-yard gain. Second and two coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Trojans come to the line with their jumbo package. And straight ahead we go with the fullback. And they make the stop. And that's a first down. First down, and now they have an opportunity to run some more time off the clock. First and ten. Ball on the 28. They line up in an eye. Cut. He gets another carry. Got some open field. And he's tackled. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a good job by that big offensive line. No, it really was, Brad. And also a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. Right. On the 11 going in, their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. I don't expect this one to be any different. They'll go with the run once again. Brought down. The four-yard pickup by the fullback. Gain of four on the play. They come out in a goal line set. Again with a carry. And they make the stop. Three-yard gain by the running back. Three-yard gain on the play. Here are today's Red Zone players of the game, which is brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. High formation here. Counterplay. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Well, the defense really put the clamps down on that run. Boy, Greg, great effort up front by that defense.
So this rivalry will have to wait another year to renew their acquaintances. Was this one any different than previous years? They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over to the next time they play. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2005. We hope you join us again soon. Again, our final score, USC 42, Notre Dame nothing.